three things I want to uh, highlight. One, uh, yesterday's meeting uh, with uh, President Joe Biden, I think was very important, very symbolic, but it shows the unity between Europe, the United States, the democratic countries around the world. Uh, we, as a democratic bloc, are completely united. Uh, we're united in our support uh, for Ukraine and the condemnation of the unwarranted, unprecedented, un unnecessary and total voluntary uh, war that uh, Putin's Russia is waging uh, in Ukraine. Uh, we also had a meeting, uh, a video meeting with uh, 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 President Zelensky from Ukraine. Uh, where uh, he, uh, we, we had an exchange again where we expressed a solidarity and we will continue to support uh, him with, with arms, with humanitarian aid, with everything uh, that is needed for Ukraine to maintain uh, their, uh, uh, their fight against the Russian forces. Uh, today we'll be focusing uh, the talks on energy and this is one of the important aspects of how we can continue to isolate uh, Putin's economy. Uh, he is uh, a great energy exporter. Uh, in Europe, we are uh, rather dependent. We import a lot of uh, Russian energy, oil and gas. And it's important that we move as quickly as possible away from uh, these uh, uh, energy sources. And there are two ways to do this. One is to diversify away, so to buy oil and gas from different partners. And that also means building out new infrastructure, LNG terminals, new pipelines, so that we can actually manage that physically. And the second aspect is, of course, going uh, the direction of renewables, the direction of, uh, 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 of uh, energy savings. Uh, and this is something that also my country, which is quite heavily still dependent upon Russian energy sources, we've already made a decision to fast track uh, a huge investment or huge investments in new wind energy. Uh, and we're also now uh, purchasing more and more uh, liquefied uh, natural gas so that the, the supplies from Russia become a smaller and smaller proportion. It will take a number of years, uh, but uh, our region needs one more uh, LNG terminal. Once that is built, then we could be fully independent of Russian uh, gas supplies, also burning less and less gas, uh, using more and more renewables.